Janet Tracy had recently learnt she had terminal cancer when she was involved in a car crash which broke her neck in February 2011. Eight days later at Adambrooks Hospital in Cambridge, a do not resuscitate order was made without the 63-year-old or her family being informed. Today, the Court of Appeal ruled that was a breach of Mrs Tracy's human rights. The court also holds that the patient should be consulted and involved in the decision-making process. A ruling welcomed by Mrs Tracy's family outside the court. When she actually found out, she was horrified, absolutely horrified. Um, so, from that point of view, people need to know what's happening to them. The hospital says it's considering the implications, adding medical staff use a combination of their compassion, experience and judgment at these difficult times to try and find the right pathway for each individual patient. I think the ruling helps to clarify the law and that clarification will help healthcare professionals and healthcare organisations to focus even better on good quality practice when it comes to communicating with patients. A second DNR order, which her family were consulted about, was in place when Janet Tracy died at Adambrooks a fortnight after her accident. Her family's fight has now strengthened the rights of all patients. Catherine Jones, ITV News.